Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Ben Jordan K6 Scourge of the Sea People. Well, I did a little bit of backtracking and just so that you could see the one moment where we taste the dough. Uh, yeah, I shall do that now. You take a little bite of the lump of dough. It's not bad. In fact, it's pretty damn tasty. You would think that he would order a pizza based on the taste of the dough, but no, he doesn't. So, let's inexplicably divide it into two pieces again. If you've played King's Quest 3 before, I'm sure you could get some pretty nice ideas as to what to do with two pieces of dough, but we shall see. In the meantime, let's go to this random doorway. Ooh, looks like somebody... Looks familiar. An old man sits at the table. He looks oddly familiar somehow. It's interesting. I thought the same thing. That is weird. Nice weather we're having, isn't it? Yes, it's quite nice outside, though a bit hot. It's a good day to be enjoyed from indoors, I think. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. Yes? I'm sorry, this seems like a random question, but do I know you from somewhere? You look awfully familiar. That depends. Perhaps I just have one of those faces. Or perhaps you were met in the past. Have you ever been to Oxford? No, I haven't. But I'm sure I've seen you somewhere before. Wait a minute, I know where I've seen you. Your picture's in the back of the Paranormal Investigator's Handbook. You're Professor Quincy Sanburn. Yes, I am. You've read my book. Have I read your book? You bet I have. I read it cover to cover the first night I got it. My goodness. That's the most flattering thing anyone has ever said to me. What is your name, young man? I'm Ben Jordan, and I'm a paranormal investigator, but I guess that goes without saying. A pleasure to meet you, Mr. Jordan. Might I add that it's nice to see that someone has found my work useful in their career. Okay, well, see, I thought he was familiar because he looks like Sigmund Freud to me, but... I... Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Your book is great. It's really come in handy throughout my career as a paranormal investigator. <clears throat> I'm very glad to hear it. I'd be fascinated to hear about your past investigations. Would you care to join me for dinner this evening? We could discuss our mutual interest and share some stories. Sure, that'd be great. Wonderful. Shall we meet at the restaurant next door, then? Say, around 8 o'clock this evening? Sounds good to me. Uh, but what are you doing here? So it brings it here. A colleague uh, informed me that there were some rumors of paranormal activity involving, involving sea people here in Agyana. I haven't been able to find much information on the subject. You may have noticed that particular chapter was lacking in substance. I did notice, yes. So I decided to put on my old adventuring boots, so to speak, and come back into the field to do some first-hand research. Really? That's a strange coincidence. What do you think of Agya Anna? It's a lovely little village, and this seaside area is marvelous. I think I'd rather like to retire here someday. I've heard of the sea people. Someone at the Athens airport told me about them, and that's how I came here. Was it a large woman who seemed particularly camera shy? Yes. Did you talk to her too? Indeed I did. Quite a character. Tried to sell me some trinkets as well. So have you managed to see any sea people? Unfortunately, I haven't yet. However, I'm still hopeful. Have you learned anything about them? Not very much, no. Most of the villagers refuse to talk about them. I did manage to speak to a local fisherman about them, though. What? What? Are you serious? He wouldn't even talk to me. Maybe he speaks Greek. Hmm. Tell me more about this fisherman. He's a bit of a recluse. He lives in a house on the far end of the beach to the west of the village. 
bit of persuasion to get him to talk to me, but once I had won him over, he was quite pleasant. He told me all he knew about the sea people, and even offered to let me hire his boat. I had to refuse due to my terrible seasickness, however. Oh man, he's not going to get very far on this, is he? You should go speak with him. Tell him I sent you, otherwise he may not be so cooperative. Thanks, Professor. I'll do that. Thanks for your time. My pleasure. Okay. Oh, random nail. Weird. A nail, probably once used to hang something, uh, is sticking out of the wall. Well, let's take it, shall we? The nail is stuck firmly in place. You can't get it out. Hmm. That seems to suggest that we're gonna need a hammer or something, but we shall see. Leave it alone. The locals don't take kindly to the flag thieves. The Greek flag hangs proudly on the wall. <clears throat> Presumably so you can remember what country you're in if you have too much to drink. <laughs> or maybe so you could get drunk and sing, uh, sing some patriotic songs in your drunken stupor. <clears throat> On the wall is a drink menu. Most of it is in Greek, but some items are also in English. It's a painting of the Virgin Mary. I guess people need someone to watch over them while they get drunk. Huh. Who would be? Oh, the locals don't take kindly to religious icon thieves either. What about menus? Nope. Carrying around a Greek drink, drink menu might seem like a good idea, but believe me when I tell you that it isn't. Okay. Well, let's see if that changed our to-do list. Ooh, dinner with Professor Sanborn, 8 p.m., and hire fisherman's boat. Looks like we're getting quite a list of things to do. I guess first we need to mention Sanborn's name at the fisherman's house. So let's go do that. Wait a minute. Huh. Sanborn. It almost has the word sand in it. Yeah, that's not funny. I know. Alright, take two. Come on, then. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Professor Quincy Sanborn told me I should come speak with you. Sanborn? Old English guy with beard? That's the one. Why he tell you to come see me? My name's Ben Jordan, and I'm a paranormal investigator. Professor Sanborn told me you might be able to help me out. Come inside. Sit down. All right. Finally. How can I help you? Well, uh... So, this is a nice house. <laughs> I don't got time for small talk, kid. <laughs> get to the point or get out. <laughs> right, sorry. I think I like him. Can I ask you some questions? This is what you are here for, so go ahead. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. It's not small talk at all. How long have you been living here? Many years. I built this house myself. It may not be big, but I feel more at home at sea, so it suits me fine for my stays on land between fishing trips. How's the fishing been? Lately, not so good. The fish are not biting like they usually do this time of year. Something is not right with the sea. I can feel it. Hmm. You speak very good English. Thank you. So do you. Huh. Normally I do not let Americans know that I speak English. If I do, they usually bother me to take photographs and stupid things like that. But since you say that professor guy sent you, I make an exception. Oh, I see. So he's biased against Americans, but he'll talk to Englishmen? I see. Ah, uh, well, let's talk about Agia Anna first. What can you tell me about Agia Anna? I was born in here. I have lived here my whole life. The village has not changed very much since I was a boy, but the past few years we have been getting more foreign tourists. I just hope they do not start building big tourist resorts here. 
<laughs> awkward. Do you know anything about the sea people? So this is why you were sent to me, eh? Yes, I know something about the sea people. I told your friend, the professor, all I knew about them. And exactly what do you know about them? They are creatures who live in the sea. They come out at night and drag people down into the water to eat them. The tales of the sea people were always told to scare children, but lately it seems they might not just be stories. What do you mean? I have heard that some people from the village have disappeared mysteriously, and that they found strange drag marks in the sand. Creepy. Of course, being on land is not where you should be if you want to know more about the sea people. Okay. Then, Professor Sandmore mentioned that you offered to take him out on your boat. Yes, that is right. Would I be able to take you up on that offer? That depends. What's in it for me? What? I can pay you. Isn't that the usual pro protocol for hiring transportation? Look around here. I got everything I need. I got no need for money. But how do you pay for food? I'm a fisherman. I catch my own food. Okay, so is there anything I can trade for hiring your boat? Hmm, maybe. We can discuss it over a drink. A drink? Yes. I think some ozu would help me come up with something. Or ozo, not ozu. What is Ozo? You are joking, yes? No, never heard of it. This does not surprise me. I do not expect Americans to know anything other than Coca-Cola or Budweiser. God. I take it it's some sort of alcoholic beverage? It is a drink of grease. Puts hairs on your chest. Bring me a bottle. We drink together, and we talk about you hiring my boat. Thanks. I really appreciate your help. And your xenophobia. Not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. Bye. I think I'd better get going here. Okay, you let yourself out. <laughs> okay. Don't let the door hit me on the way out. Alright, well, that was fun. Now we have to get Ozo for the fisherman. That should be fun. Anyway, it looks like this is a good stopping point for the video, so I shall see you guys next time. Bye for now, and enjoy your week.